Today, we're going to be using the random projectiles mod to see if we can get to and beat the round 100 bad balloons. So, let's see if we can win with completely random projectiles. Now, I think I'm going to start with a ninja because it can detect camel automatically and it has a bunch of really cheap upgrade. Wait, no way. Okay, forget what I was saying. Look at this. It is shooting out. Is that the fifth tier mortar explosion? We're against literally red balloons on round three and we have a, basically a fifth tier mortar. Okay, if our luck continues like this, this challenge is going to be over. Okay, I shouldn't say that because there are DDTs that we're going to have to beat and the final bad balloon. But seriously, that is the best start we could have hoped for. Anyway, we're going to go for a few more towers because remember, we need towers that can make us money and we need towers that shoot really, really fast, really good projectiles like the Mab Missile, for example. Anyway, let's get the stickier glue on this and... Okay, that's pretty lucky as well. That glue gun, okay, it is kind of making us like no money at all. $340, but actually we could just spam a couple of these glue gunners right now and it should be making us like a little bit of money, right? So, okay, let's get like four of these. I think we're gonna go for the Super Monkey next because of course it attacks super duper fast and we're actually kind of making a good amount of money from these glue gunners. Like they're not making bad money until we got nearly a thousand on that. We definitely shouldn't have $5,000. So let's go for the Super Monkey, of course, this won't have camera detection. We don't have to worry about camera balloons just yet. We're only on round 10. But if we want to defend against DDTs, we have to find some really, really good towers. And that's basically what this challenge is. We have to find all of the really good combinations. Otherwise, we're going to die. Anyway, this Super Monkey doesn't really look that good right now. Let's get some knockback on this. And no way. Okay. Our luck has been insane. We firstly, we got the ninja with the missile. We got the glue gunner that made us money. And now, and now we found this. Now, I think some of our main popping power is going to come from the darling gun. Because as you can see, this thing shoots really, really fast. Although not right now. And oh no, as you can see, there is a camo balloon right there. But because the mortar missile thing doesn't detect camo, even though the ninja does... We can't actually pop this. Oh, no. We have nearly $100,000 to get upgraded, so I'm not really that worried. Actually, I'm going to go for another one of these, and I need to check what upgrade it is, because we really need the money. We really do, because we need. We may have to get, like, a temple, although the temple is probably going to be terrible because it doesn't shoot that fast, and it's only one projectile. Anyway, let's go for some upgrades on this. Let's get the faster swivel. Okay, I don't think this is doing anything. There we go. Actually, that's pretty decent. Okay, so this is shooting out, like, the, uh, the boomer projectile. Not bad at all. We've got zero balloons on this round, of course. We are just decimating everything with our ninja right now, but everything is going to start to get a bit harder. Remember, round 40 is when the first Moab comes, and obviously, we're going to be able to destroy it with the ninja and the dartling gum, but we still haven't found our really, really good tower yet, so let's keep on... Oh, no, that's terrible. That's like shooting out single tacks. Okay, I think it is time to get the sniper. This thing can shoot really fast, and of course, it has infinite map range, so let's go for the fast firing. Let's see if it actually does anything. I mean, the pop count is going up really, really slowly. It doesn't really look like it's doing that much, though, so let's keep on making it fire even faster. And wait, is that the Oban's totem? I mean, that's not bad at all. I believe it, yeah, it's slowing down balloons in the radius. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's shooting the Paragon. And we still... Oh, no. We don't have camera section. Okay. This is an emergency. We need to get a ninja that can actually somehow detect camera. Please, can we get something that detects camera? No. What is this? Okay. I think that's a Zeely. Okay. So, that can detect camera. That is good. And it looks like it's de stuff maybe as well. I mean, we're just going to stay with this ninja. This is our only camera detection right now. Actually, you know what? We could actually just get a village. Like, let's actually get a village right here because, of course, it won't have the random projectiles because it doesn't have any projectiles tells but if we go for the radar scanner on this thing, everything in the range should be able to detect camo. So we're going to get this right here. And we really do need to find some better upgrades. And I'm going to sell this because this thing is just decimating everything. Yep, there are the camos. And they got absolutely destroyed by this ninja under the radius of the village. But we still need to find some good towers that are actually going to pop stuff. So I think what we're going to go for next is going to be the druid. Because this thing does shoot pretty fast. And also, I'm going to sell these super monkeys now. We don't need the money right now. We just just need to find a tower that's going to do work and there we go that's not bad shooting out those missiles but it's not great so let's go for a couple more upgrades again and missiles like okay missiles are pretty cool oh oh no that is amazing 
Oh my god, is that the Ultra Juggernaut Balls? That looks so sick, of course. It doesn't usually shoot out this many, but because it's on the Druid, it is going to shoot out multiple at once. And this is pretty good balloon popping power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this at the back, and this is going to be our balloon popping power. Just in case a couple of balloons start to sneak through, we're going to get two of these right here. And this is going to be basically all the balloon popping power we need, right? Because these things, they are absolutely amazing at popping the balloons. But we need something that's going to be really really good against the ddts and the zmg so we we still need to find something good let's actually go for the tag shooter right here and oh my god the juggernaut balls are still getting in the way they are absolutely insane i think we should just go all the way to the tag zone and it looks like one of the upgrades was actually shooting out spike factory stuff which we don't really really want anyway we've got the tag zone so if we go for the range on this thing wait Oh my god, is this giving us money as well? I didn't really want the money, but it's making so much. What? It's got 192,000 already. We're at half a million dollars just from this tag zone. Wait, this thing is making me so much money. Our mod popping power is really not that good. So let's go for the quick shots, I think, on this thing just to make it shoot even faster. There we go. And wait, wait, what? Wait, is the dart monkey? No way. Wait, the dart monkey is shooting out Etienne's plane? Are you... I've never had this in a challenge before. I've done so many of these videos, it has never been able to spawn this. I don't know why, but apparently it works now because it is spawning Etienne's plane. That, that is absolutely amazing. Oh my god, this is literally a 0-2-0 Dart Monkey, right? This should not be able to do any work. But this is amazing. And the thing is, it isn't spawning too many of them that the game is getting laggy. Although, okay, this is kind of looking ridiculous now. Okay, so that's definitely going to be another backup tower. Like, that is straight up an amazing backup tower just to have there. Also, I just realized, can we get the crossbow master? Because that's going to shoot really, really fast, right? Let's see if we get anything good. Of course we get the grape. We always get the grape. Why is it the grape? Let's go for the crossbow right here. It's shooting out Oban. Okay, that's cool, but not really what I want. Let's just go straight for the crossbow master, and that is pretty pathetic. Shooting out those missiles. We don't want that. Let's go for the quick shots. Is that actually... Do what is this doing? I mean, it's popping stuff, but not very well. And we got the missiles again. This is useless. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got camo pub. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. That is... Okay, I think I may need to restart this because... <laughs> what's happening oh my god i think i've crashed there well we crashed the game but we're back and i think we're gonna go for the heli pilot because this thing of course you can do wait is that just the regular projectile that's so lame wait let's lock that in place right here we need to find some good projectiles because this thing can be really really good and it seems like it is shooting out sentry guns and the, the regular sentries okay hopefully this doesn't get like we got four to five ceramic balloons right now but the still the rounds aren't too bad and okay that was kind of bad though that was kind of scary but luckily we do have all of the backup right here but again that is not going to be amazing well okay apart from the dark monkey it is not going to be that good against really really powerful moab class moons so i think we need to find something a bit better and wait are those moab mines dude now the heli pilot is shooting out oban's projectile this thing is single-handedly okay maybe with the help of the tag shooter it is doing really, really okay no i take it back it is kind of bad let's get the apache dart ship on this thing and Oh my god, that's the mad missile. Okay, this is going to look really ridiculous, guys. Like, this is just going to look absolutely ridiculous. But the thing is, if I put it right here... Yeah, look at this! It is shooting out the mad projectile right here. That looks absolutely hilarious. I think I'm just going to keep that here. Because then this mad projectile, which I don't know why it keeps going out that direction. It's really, really strange. Because it was going that way even if it was here. But now we have a mad missile just firing here. That is hilarious. Okay, I think it is time to stop messing around. I think it is time to get the super monkey up. And we're going to get the super range on this thing. We're going to get the epic range on this thing. And that is actually a super monkey projectile. But it is not the super monkey projectile we want. So, let's go for the knockback. Let's go for the ultra vision. Which, okay, all of these projectiles are really, really cool. It's shooting out Oban. But we want better than that. Let's go for the Dark Knight right here, which apparently absolutely sucks. And let's go for the Dark Champion and please be good. Please. Oh, no way. No way. Is that the Sun God? Oh, my. Is that the fifth tier? I don't know if that's the fifth tier or the fourth tier. But it's doing so much damage. It is. Okay, I think we should just keep this one. This thing is insane. I, I'm actually going to put it over here, I think. Let's go. Let's put it here. This thing is ridiculous. I'm sure we can find a good upgrade for this thing, right? I mean, it's literally the Dartling gun. It should be absolutely amazing. But it's just not good. Like, let's get that... 
Dude, this sucks. Look at this, man. It's literally shooting out one shuriken every second. Th that's so bad. I guess, I mean, it looks pretty cool because the man always looks cool. But that sucks. That's terrible. Why can't we find something actually good for the dartling gun? Let's, okay, let's go for the man again. And let's go for the faster swivel. The powerful darts? No, this thing just sucks. And it's crashed my game again. What is this? Guys, I think I just thought of something really, really cool, which hasn't been done before with random projectiles. Okay, so basically, as you know, paragons are in the game so what if we get a paragon because surely is it gonna have oh i can actually get it look at this the apex plasma master can i actually upgrade this and i mean obviously i'm not gonna get tons of dark monkeys for it but is it going to have a random projectile that's actually good i think let's find out and wait what is happening did you see that oh i've got it working and is it good well, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it's shooting out balloon traps. Okay, I mean, it's not an absolutely terrible projectile, right? It's, it's doing something, but you would kind of expect more from this. But I guess it could have been worse. It could have been literally shooting out grapes like this stupid dartling gunner. Is that the song or projectile from the Spite Factory? Seriously, I mean, it's not hitting anything, but it's still pretty awesome. And also, these balloon traps are sucking everything. Okay, I take it back. The Apex Master was actually doing some work because I can't see anything on my side right now. Guys, I just had a really, really good idea. What about the carpet of spikes? Like, what is that going to do? Because, of course, it naturally does the ability every, like, maybe, I don't know how many seconds it is. But is it going to shoot out spikes? Or is it, is it going to do, like, completely random projectiles everywhere? And it looks like the answer is it actually does shoot out the spikes. So that is actually not random. That's, like, one of the only things that is not random. As you can see, the rounds are definitely starting to get a bit harder. We do have mobs. We have multiple BFBs. We're doing absolutely fine. And also, this is shooting out a big one explosion as well. Not only, I think it was the ninja, this is shooting out the big one. So, actually, we have this at the back of the track just in case we need that extra backup. The rounds are starting to get a bit harder, so I think we're going to go for a Grandmaster Ninja, because I feel like you can't go wrong with it, right? Like, it shoots out so many projectiles so fast. Like, even if it is kind of a bad projectile, it probably is still going to be good. And as you can see, yeah, this is, I think this is a good projectile. Like, I don't know if it's as good as the regular Ninja. It does seem to be getting pops really fast, though. Yeah, I actually think this is pretty good. Yeah, this is taking out the mobs and the BFBs really fast. You can see the pop count is pretty decent. It seems to be about the same as the regular Grandmaster Ninja. But that's still decent, right? That's still really good. And also, I think we're going to go for another Super Monkey because the Sun God, of course, the Sun God is always good. Like, it shoots out so many projectiles as well. So let's get the range on this thing. Let's get the Plasma Blast. And actually, this looks kind of cool. It's shooting out the blades right there. Let's go for the Sun Avatar. Please, please, please be something good. Wait. Wait, is it just using the power of its mind or something? Like, I can't even see what it's doing. Okay, it looks like it is getting pops. But how is it getting pops? I can't see anything. Okay, well, apparently it's doing something. I'm actually, I might actually get a temple. I think we're going to get a temple. This is going to be so funny. I, I bet you guys the temple is going to be absolutely terrible. Because, of course, it doesn't actually shoot that fast. Because it's more about how, many, like, how much power the plasma has. And it looks like it is actually irradiating the balloons. Like, could you see the green around them? Like, it does actually seem... Yeah, look at that. It kind of looks like the nuclear reactor, which is very, very strange. I think for round 80, we're actually going to get the Dark Monkey back because I really, really want to spawn more of those planes. Like, it was so fun. I can't remember which one it is. Is it the quick shot? Let's see. I mean, we're going to see it. Yeah, there we go. It is shooting out Etienne's planes once again. And we're just going to keep this right here because I feel like these things are going to do really, really good damage against the CMG. And this round, I swear this round takes ages. But we're nearly to the end of it. Let's see how easily we can defeat round 80. There we go. There is the CMG. Are we even going to see it? I mean, we do see it. But like, we're, oh, wow. Okay, we have spawned even more planes right there look at that okay so we got to round 80 fairly easily but now comes the real difficult part ddt's the babylon are we going to be able to beat it probably i think i just found a good sniper upgrade this thing is shooting out i'm pretty sure this is a high tier boomerang upgrade yeah look at that look at the pop count already 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. okay well this was just a, a two three sniper two zero three sniper this thing is doing some serious work and it's actually slowing them out you know what I need to put this in range of the village, right? I need to put this in range of the village so it can actually do... I believe it will do that to the DDTs, right? There's no reason why it shouldn't. So let's get that in range of the village just in case it didn't already detect camo because, of course, it's really difficult to actually detect camo in this. And I like how this heli pilot has just been up here the whole time with 37,000 pops. Not bad at all. This has maybe $460,000, 41,000 pops, 50,000 pops. Yeah, 
so many times putting in the work and there's a zmg and actually maybe this was a mistake because as you can see this zmg is literally getting auto stunned wait the zmg can't even move like, I mean, it is moving, but it's moving backwards. We're literally pushing it backwards. This is ridiculous. Oh, wow. I have found a pretty cool glue gunner. Look at this. Have you ever seen a 002 glue gunner's count go up that fast? We've already got nearly a thousand pops. As you can see, it is shooting out the electricity thing from the druid, which is actually doing some serious damage right there. And we are on round 87, guys. We are really closing in on that round 100. Guys, I just spawned a whole bunch of balloon traps on my map by using the dartling gunner. And I kind of regret it because they are literally everywhere now. But we are on round 91 right now. And we are really, really cruising. However, it is taking us a long time to pop stuff. So what I thought I would do is just get a really, really powerful super monkey upgrade up here and just see if it can do something and i mean this is doing something this is shooting out the plasma well we're on round 97 we're nearly to the babylon and honestly i don't think it stands a chance because even if it gets past my super powerful super monkey we have this dart monkey that shoots out the planes and you're not meant to have a hundred planes on your screen at once so i think the bad balloon is just gonna get knocked out of the sky so i don't think we can lose but i mean i guess we're gonna find out Dude, the sniper was putting in so much work. Oh, and there you go. See? Oh, wait. This is the Babylon already? Oh, no. Okay. Well, we absolutely destroyed it. I was about to say, like, the sniper was putting in so much work. And then I deleted it because it was getting annoying for the rounds. But then we were already to the Babylon. And it looks like, yeah, exactly what I thought. These planes, we're just going to keep on spawning them. And hopefully it doesn't get laggy because that is a lot of planes. And we pop the Babylon. We keep on spawning more and more planes. And it looks like... Yep, we get an... Oh, that's... I've never seen this artwork before. But we get the Engineer Monkey. We beat the Babaloon. Round 101. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.